who would win in a table tennis match? This Chinese humanoid robot or Forrest Gump? Researchers from UC Berkeley shocked the internet with this footage of a humanoid robot, aptly named Hitter, rallying 106 ping pong shots against a real person without missing once. Its sub-200 millisecond reaction time surpasses human abilities and makes it easily the best humanoid to hold a paddle. The achievement could have implications far beyond tabletop sports. It could equip robots like Unitree's G1, which is becoming ubiquitous among researchers and developers and is entrenching itself in the mixed martial arts world for real-world job-type jobs that require autonomous thinking. Hitter is short for a humanoid table tennis robot via hierarchical planning and learning. The researchers said their study proves that humanoid hardware can handle strenuous activities that require timing, precision, and full body coordination. They said this system could be adapted to accelerate deployment of autonomous humanoids in places like factories and warehouses. To achieve the breakthrough, the team trained a digital twin of the robot's AI brain in a simulated world, where it played thousands of matches to learn the best moves through reinforcement learning. A virtual replica learned all it could about predicting bounces, handling spin, and optimizing shot placement. The learning was then transferred to the physical robot through a process called sim to real short for simulation to reality. They refined the behaviors using motion data from videos of elite human athletes to make its movements more natural and efficient. In the real world, Hitter benefited greatly from an external vision system that effectively gave it superhuman perception. Nine OptiTrack motion capture cameras placed strategically around the ping pong table track both the ball and the robot's position. The cameras fed the real-time data into the robot's motion-based planner, so its AI could predict the ball's path and strike timing almost instantly. Lower-level controllers handled balance and footwork. With this setup, Hitter would obviously be disqualified from any serious human table tennis competition, but it's still a major step toward giving robots greater autonomy and natural decision-making. The unfair advantage would be especially useful for automated assembly lines, high-speed packaging, quality inspections, and even surgical assistance. While the robot beats humans in consistency, people are more creative with their moves and adapt better. So even with all its advantages, the robot would still lose to Forrest Gump, whose chaotic spins, unpredictable angles, and lightning-fast shots would be too much to comprehend. In a long-term endurance contest, Hitter might outlast him, but probably not. Unitree's G1 humanoid robot has surged in popularity over the last year thanks to its relatively low entry price of around $16,000. As it scales production of its machines, the Hangzhou-based firm is reportedly preparing for an initial public offering on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. As of late, Unitree has been showcasing its short humanoid's abilities in the ring. The company's kickboxing humanoids have been seen by millions on Chinese TV, which aired Unitree's first mixed martial arts-style tournament earlier this year and major events like the 2025 World Robot Conference in Beijing and the World Artificial Intelligence Conference in Shanghai. Now, Unitree's short king appears headed for the ultimate fighting championship circuit. During a recent visit to Shanghai, UFC President Dana White had the chance to operate a 35-kilo Unitree robot remotely. The moment gained virality after one of Unitree's robots reportedly went off script during the demonstration, prompting White to unexpectedly retreat. Though the UFC chief was unharmed and seemed amused, the incident and others like it raised questions about the limits of human control over advanced robotic systems in public. During the recent inaugural World Humanoid Robot Games in Beijing, one of Unitree's full-sized H1 humanoids collided with a participant remotely controlling a much smaller robot during a 1,500-meter dash. Unitree said the mishap was due to human error and that it's working toward greater autonomy for upcoming competitions. The collaboration comes as the UFC continues its expansion within the People's Republic, 
whose government has set a national mandate to mass produce humanoids by 2025 and own the market by 2027. Its latest fight night event in Shanghai sold out within a minute. In the lead up, White told Chinese media the UFC is going all in on the mainland. Unitree, which manufactures more than 60% of the world's quadrupeds, has effectively become the DJI of humanoids since it lowered the barrier of entry with its G1 robot. As it faces stiffening competition from fellow Chinese firms like Agibot, Noetics Robotics, and Engine AI, Unitree is ramping production of its R1 humanoid that's priced starting under $6,000 and is preparing to launch a next-generation full-sized humanoid. The UFC collab comes as a niche market emerges, focused on making the 2011 movie Real Steel a reality. Shenzhen-based Engine AI plans to hold a boxing tournament in December 2025 featuring full-sized robotic humanoids. The startup, which is reportedly seeking a billion-dollar valuation, says the competition will have pioneering rules requiring some degree of autonomy. Interest is also growing outside the mainland. In San Francisco, Ultimate Fighting Box has been holding underground boxing matches featuring remote-controlled short humanoids from Unitree and the Beijing-based company Booster Robotics. The city is also home to entrepreneur Six Live, who's launching a VR-based game where players train to pilot virtual robots with movement mechanics mirroring real humanoids. Top players will have the chance to control the humanoids in real-world fights. The startup, named Rec, has been training Unitree's small and full-sized humanoids for battle for most of 2025. Unitree was launched almost a decade ago by hardware engineer Wang Xingxing, who calls Boston Dynamics founder Mark Raybert his idol. Described as an anxious and unremarkable student growing up, Wang's obsession with machines pushed him far outside his comfort zone and now, against all odds, into the global spotlight. For more on the unlikely rise of Wang Xingxing and Unitree Robotics, check the related video.